You know, there really is no way around it. If you have a car, you are going to need gas. And the folks we spoke to today realize what you and I realize. If you have a car, you're at the mercy of the oil industry. Give me 70 on number 11. How much did you spend the last time you paid a visit to your favorite filling station? 15 on number 3. And did you fill up or did you get just enough gas to hold you over until you had more money to pay for more gas? $4 on pump 4. Whether you pay now or down the road, you will pay. And the chances are the amount you pay today will be more than you paid the last time you got gas. What I try to do is keep my tank at half, at half full so that it doesn't have a, a, a big impact. Most people understand that the price of gas fluctuates and there isn't much you can do about it, but it would be nice to know why. Crude oil prices on the world market are up to about $106, $107 a barrel right now. And that same crude oil was going for about $98 just a couple months ago. That combined with the changeover from the winter blend to the summer blend of gasoline, which costs more but is better for the environment, causes you to pay more at the pump. Lastly, there's the demand for gas. Not so much here in Michigan or across the U.S., but it's a worldwide demand for, for oil. And so prices this time of year do tend to go up. So basically... It is what it is. We can't do without it. So you just learn to deal with it. I couldn't have said it any better myself. In Detroit, Malcolm Addicts, 7 Action News.